Today marks one year since former President George H.W. Bush passed away. And a woman from Kennebunkport is remembering the great friendship she had with both him and First Lady Barbara Bush. News Center Maine's Rosalind Flaherty brings us to Kennebunkport with the story. It's been hanging over the fireplace there ever since. This is just one of the paintings Evelyn Payne's husband made for former President George H.W. Bush and former First Lady Barbara Bush. The one of the first snow, um, let's see, oh yeah, this one here of the lobster boat. Evelyn's husband Bob started painting artwork for the Bushes in 1981. That working relationship was the foundation for what became a close friendship. The four of them would often go out to eat together in Kenny Bunkport. One year, President Bush said um, to the waitress, I'll take the check. And Barbara says, no, 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 it's their turn to pay. And he said, oh, if I'd known that, I'd have had two lobsters. <laughs> Saturday marks one year since the 41st president died. So sad. It was like losing your, a really good friend. And that's how I felt and um, my husband too. And then when he passed away, we got all kinds of um, beautiful letters. Including this one from George W. Bush. Dear Evelyn, Laura and I send our uh, sincere condolences. I learned Bob has moved on. Yet his artwork, his place on earth is reflected in art. She keeps it framed, reminding her of the close friendship she shared with the entire family. Everybody followed their example. The world wouldn't be in the mess, you know. It would always be kind, and it's so easy to be kind to people. But they, they set a really great example. She says she doesn't quite know how a girl from a lobsterman's family ended up so close with the Bushes, but is grateful for their time together. In Kenny Bunkport, Rosalind Flaherty, New Center, Maine. <laughs> Very cool. Evelyn still has her husband's painting for sale at her home in Kenny Bunkport, which also acts as his gallery. It's called the WR Payne Gallery.